Hey guys, Martin Grove here. Uh, you see me in different places on YouTube. You see a lot of our street music videos uh, on AshevilleStreetMusic.com, and uh, some, have some excellent musicians on there. You also see some of my videos uh, with uh, personal care that I've got on the another channel. But anyway, today. Uh, we're here to look at the Gibson J35. This is a 1940 model, made in 1940, and I'm I'm thinking that uh, from what I've researched, uh, this was actually made by the, the Kalamazoo gals, actually in. 1940. As we go down here, I'll I'll kind of kind of point out, and I did have to try to find people that got the third generation family that had it from the guy I got it from, this guitar. But anyway, they had changed the tuning machines, so I did get some Golden Era, close as I could figure. It's probably not what looked like what came on here, but still. Uh, that time period had to put these machines on there the other ones were fine they just didn't look right at all on there uh, mahogany neck nice mahogany neck sides and back are mahogany you can see there's been something spilled actually from the inside here is where the spill is. Uh, looks like it has taken place, but either way, it's soaked through. Uh, both penetrated the wood, but the wood's still uh, solid wood, good integrity to it. There's no, there's nothing besides the finish has been damaged there, but still pretty nice finish. One piece mahogany back, a real really nice piece looking piece of wood and this is actually kind of the grandfather of the explosion of acoustic guitars with Gibson the J35 it grandfathered or fathered the J45 which is their hot guitar acoustic guitar uh, and actually uh, the serial number inside here, I already know it won't show through the thing here because I tried it a few minutes ago, but anyway, it's it's got an F at the end, which means it was made in 1940. Uh, it's uh, the F in there is red, and if you research, some, uh, find some places that uh, they only use the red color on those letters which signified years during the war so this being a 1940 right before the war started what I'm thinking I may be wrong but uh, the men the war started immediately there in 1941 I believe it was but anyway the men had to you know they had to pack up and leave and uh, get ready uh, I'm sure they didn't, you know, uh, they were selective when they sent these guys out. They, you know, but anyway, uh, this is, I'm pretty sure, built by the Kalamazoo gals. They were the ones that used the red because of the war period in memory. When the war was over, they went back to black. Uh, I've had to change the pins, got an ebony. Uh, ebony bridge with a wood saddle. I put some ebony wood bridge pins with some little bit of jazz. There's some abalone in the uh, inside of them. Spruce top repair here. Been checked out by Autumn Guitar Mama. Some of you guys, you know, locally, I'm sure know, but she. Uh, does some of the best guitar work. She didn't have to work on this once she checked it out. It had been worked on by who knows who. 
and uh, the guitar, the guy told me his grandfather did take it to Germany, so it may have been repaired over there. Whatever, it's great, great condition. Uh, there's a repair done underneath here. There's a, there's a, a little bit of a crack. It's hard to see with these shadows, but right there is a, there you can see it. It's a, a crack. It's not broken apart, but there's a piece of, it's been repaired also. Uh, ebony fingerboard. Great action on the guitar. The strings are unbelievably, unbelievably, unbelievably close there for a 75-year-old. It's 19 or 2015, 75-year-old guitar. J35, amazing, amazing guitar. thing resonates just a awesome mahogany I mean, I'm kind of a prefer mahogany I've got some rosewoods but uh, it's nothing like the <laughs> that, that bite of the mahogany that that growl or rumble of it uh, but anyway Gibson J35 I'm gonna try to do a review on the uh, website again uh, one of the places where you buy online just to let people know they you know this one's lasted 75 years uh, uh, integrity of the guitars there you know they strive Gibson and Martin and uh, Guild and some of the other ones to you know that standard of excellence and they've you know, they've all certainly made it, and they actually made it in the 1930s and 1940s when, uh, I don't know, was using real wood, and, you know, you got a real guitar when you went and got one and could afford one. Uh, but anyway, a Gibson J35, I've got a, also a J15, almost the same guitar. It's got walnut, and I've actually modified it a little bit. Uh, but we'll we'll talk about it uh, next time. And anyway, uh, hope you like the guitar. If you're thinking about getting one, uh, uh, once the war started, one thing I found out I'm gonna throw in here real quick. I know I ain't got but a minute, but uh, when the war started, the J45 evolved. It was uh, they couldn't get the spruce from. Uh, the prize spruce that looks good on a natural top like this. I think this is red spruce actually. Uh, they call it a blonde top, but it's a red spruce. But it, anyway, uh, they couldn't get that wood. It'd have uh, spots in it and things like that. So they, they came up with the sunburst to cover up some of the defects of the, the lesser quality appearance wood is still good wood but they had to cover some of the blemishes up and that's <laughs> I don't know if it's true or not but that's what I heard where the the sunburst came from uh, but that's you know it's one of the things they used it for the sunburst but that was the J the trademark of the J45 and cost 45 bucks back in the day uh, anyway I'll see you next time I appreciate you watching my video